Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I've been eating mono meals for lunch. I've been eating smoothies for breakfast. I have my tonic, look up my tonic recipes. Tonic recipes are how I stay a raw foodist. They help keep my spleen and my kidneys and everything warm and tonified. Um, and then I will make a smoothie, a fruit smoothie to take to the gym in a mason jar. And today's was chocolate, banana, uh, chia seed with just water, really easy. And then I will have a green juice or a juice, and then I'll come home and have oranges for lunch. And don't worry about how many you eat, eat until you're full and you're replenishing your body with vitamin C, which, which helps our bodies promote and produce uh, collagen. And so I have a basket here of goodies, fruit mostly, and I want to talk about decluttering. I want to talk about extreme sport decluttering because that's what I've been up to. I want to talk about flowers. I want to talk about the fact that I took down all the lilies that were here because some of them started to get brown, but you can extend the life of your bouquets of flowers by A, recutting the stems on an angle and placing them in fresh water. Um, you definitely want to cut away the ones that are brown and cut them shorter, and then I have a new bouquet. And it's so much nicer to do your own arrangement, uh, usually tight and close to the top of the vase. When they're all sticking out and leggy and too stemmy, it usually doesn't look that good. So recutting your flowers shorter makes them last even longer because the water gets up to the bloom. Um, Okay, Renee, I told her I wanted to do, uh, announce the last jewelry giveaway winner and I couldn't find the video where I did the jewelry giveaway, so that's coming up next. But we are doing a jewelry giveaway at the end of this video, so it will be, well, I'll say it now, Tiger's Eye with one Herkimer diamond. Herkimer quartz is like a diamond. It's so hard and it brings in divinity. I will ha I hand that knot these uh, stones um, with silk and then I always add one odd stone, usually a Herkimer diamond, and it's a quartz found in New York, in Herkimer, New York, and it is known for bringing in divine love and intuition. And this one's got a little rainbow in it. So, tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is used a lot in feng shui, funny enough, because we're gonna be talking about extreme sport feng shui, extreme sport decluttering. And one of the ways to add protection to your home or to your body, add calm into your home and to your body, is the use of tiger's eye, a protective eye. So, if you want calming and protection when you're not wearing them, place them somewhere that you can see them in your home. And they're absolutely beautiful. I love them. So that is the next personal jewelry giveaway because I decided that every thousand family members were doing a jewelry giveaway and it's coming up rather quickly these days. So I am clearing out the studio so that I can get busy making new pieces of jewelry for all of us to share and wear. So what does that mean, decluttering? Okay, decluttering is the same thing as detoxifying. Decluttering your home is like detoxifying your body. Getting rid of unwanted things, unwanted bacteria, unwanted toxins, unwanted fat perhaps, unwanted emotions that are somehow stored, unwanted lactic acid, unwanted things that are stored in our lymph system. Movement is what we're talking about. Not just letting go and depleting, but it's really important to tell ourselves that we're making room. We're not just letting go like a kid who has to get rid of their toys. It's like, wait, we're making room for new toys and new experiences and new opportunities and new people, things beyond our wildest imagination that can only show us what they are once we make the room for them to appear. And it is not always easy, just like detoxification is not always easy. Sometimes we feel a little sick when we're detoxifying. Sometimes we feel a little emotional and overwhelmed when we're decluttering. Sometimes it's easy and fun, but if we're doing it right, we get to a point where you want to give up. You just want to say, I'm not doing this. I'll just leave everything. I'll put everything back in the box or back or whatever and walk away and go have fun somewhere else. But I will tell you that that never, there's nowhere to hide in feng shui. There's nowhere for stuff to hide in our body without causing some kind of thing, a rash, a dis-ease, 
a lump, a bump. So cleansing is the ultimate. Cleansing is the ultimate for physical, emotional, and spiritual health. So I'm going to give you an example from my own personal experience and it's it's personal but i have to say say what i did so that you can understand how hardcore i took it yesterday now i have been decluttering for a long time it might as well be my middle name and i came to the realization which was my last video talking about how it's an endless process and it's a joyous process because we keep getting really good you know good things happening so I said to myself, when I am done with every room and every drawer in this house, which I am, I finished the other day, I said I will go down to my studio. And in my studio, it needed a dressing as to the whole thing is dedicated to jewelry. Then I decided to section it off and be able to have a conference table for people to meet and draw and uh, discuss things and kind of like... Um, an inspiration place. But what had happened when I was planning something for Jada, I was asked to go through all of my photographs to find pictures of Jada with my family members. So that was done last minute and it ended up being an explosion of photos all over my studio and I avoided it for two weeks. I was busy up here decluttering, busy doing my videos, busy doing what I do, and then a dream came. And the dream was that Renee and I hopped on a train to see more beauty. We were in this beautiful scenic place and we just hopped on a train by ourselves, no one was in it, and we hit water. And she went, oh, there's water. Like not, the train tracks just disappeared into the water. And I said, I was on the phone with her and I said, what does that mean? We were experiencing beauty. We were on the right track. We were excited to go see more beauty together and share this message of food and beauty and love as medicine. And we hit water and the train tracks disappeared, which meant that the train could have gone under and we might not have gotten out. And I said, what does this mean? What does this mean? And we're talking it through and she's helping me. This is where dreams are really cool and friends that can help you through these things. And I said, Renee, I can't believe it. Do you know what's around me like water? All of these photos are around me and they're around me. And I know because of feng shui that water, anytime there's plumbing situations or water in dreams represents emotion. Um, depending on what kind of water, this particular kind of water represented emotion. I, I knew that, I was aware of that. And I said, what could be more emotional than looking at your entire past in photographs and people staring up at you and just, so I said, I have to go through this. I have to get through this. This is the water that I need to get through with your help so that we can keep going on our train track. So, aha, it was so obvious, but it wasn't easy because the next day I started at 1.30 in the afternoon Five hours later, I'm still at it, Renee. Oh my gosh, I'm still at it. Like, and so I got rid of duplicates. I got rid of pictures that really didn't mean much. And, you know, it was really just this big process. And I ended up with a big box of garbage. And then I ended up with um, a box of ones that probably, I, I texted her a picture of an ex-boyfriend. She goes, well, are you going to get rid of those? And I was like, that's the question. That's the question that I wasn't asking myself. That's the help that a friend will do. Or if you get to that, I'm helping you right now, is to ask yourself the question, okay, can you let go of that? And if you know you should, but you can't, then, then this is for you, okay? This is what I'm going to say. What I asked myself is holding on to this image or this person more important than my new life or my new relationship or my new opportunity is holding on to boxes of things or an item or a thing or a person worth your life. I mean, that's what we really have to think about when we are exercising extreme cleansing. You know, when we really want to get to it, when nothing less than a new life will do. And by a new life, I don't mean changing everything, but I mean new opportunities, current, 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 you know, keeping it clean, keeping it clear, keeping, keeping it bright, then, then we have to ask our, ourselves, and I do this in my home, I say, well, is this thing worth the real estate that it's taking up? Is that object worth being in my line of sight? Can I let it go? And that's easier for me. For some reason, when it comes to art supplies or pictures, 
I'm going to let go of that person? What if I need to show someone that picture? What if I need to refer back? What if I come back into my life and I want to show them? So I was on the phone with my mother and she said, you know, some people have a hard time getting rid of furniture that's been passed down. And she said, heirloom furniture. And I said, well, thank goodness I don't have that problem. She said, but you know what some people do? I heard that she said, take a picture of the object and let the item go. So I used that, thank you, mom, in these pictures. I thought, well, if it's hard to let go of the object, if I take a digital shot of it, so if I needed to show someone, I could, or I could delete it after it was, so I would take a picture and shred, and I shredded all of, I would say, old boyfriends and old things and old experiences and things that really what we have to ask ourselves is, does this feel good? When I look at this or feel this object or this picture, does it bring up happy or does it not? And if it doesn't, it doesn't belong in our surroundings. So the trick here is, is to A, ask yourself what's more important, that thing or you, and to, if you have to take a picture of it, then delete it or put it in a little file away or whatever it is, and it's away. So compartmentalizing things. I didn't get rid of anything that would be meaningful to Jada. I put them all in a beautiful little section. And um, so there wasn't anything I felt bad that I got rid of. And at the end, when everything was shredded and the box of pictures was gone, and I felt so clean and so clear, but it was hours and hours of extreme, what I'm calling extreme sport feng shui, extreme sport decluttering, putting the good feeling that I had upstairs in my home, because I did it hardcore, to two point where it was very hard for me. So... Uh, I'm happy to say that I did it. I'm making this video to serve as inspiration so that you can do it too, because if I can do it, you can do it. And it feels so good. So now I'm gonna be back, going back down to like maybe a vase downstairs that I don't use and I can give it to someone or different tools and things. But having that, if you make one room in your house or one area in your house or home feel so good, Use that as a reference. That is your vantage point for dealing with every other drawer, closet, room, garage. Shut off. I'm not sure. No, we're on. We're going to rectify this, this camera situation. will be fixed, I promise. We're working on it. It's, um, it's a function of me using a better quality camera that the memory, memory card heats up and then it, whatever. It's a long story, but I have, we are on it. So thank you for your patience. So the biggest question, okay, so now what I want to get to is that once, this is the beauty of cleansing. This is the beauty of detoxifying. This is the point of the whole thing. When we detoxify our bodies and we declutter our homes, then we become so aware of the cleanliness and peace that we don't want to disrupt it with something that doesn't resonate. We become, we have better eyes. We have better senses, we have better intuition, we have better feelings for what feels right and what doesn't, and why on earth would we enter in, bring in something, an object from our home, that we, will it belong in our clean, sparkly home? We'll be able to know right away by looking at it, because we're clean. And it's like having a beautiful, pristine glass of just beautiful water. And then you put something foggy and it's just all foggy. You, you won't want to do that. Once your body is clean, we become more excited to eat healthier foods and less likely to even want to put something in that's going to dirty it because look how far we've come. Look how hard we've worked and we have the vantage point of true health. The same goes with our homes. We, are, we take more pride in cleaning up and putting things away because everything has a place. We are less likely to bring in junk. We become more aware. So therefore, there will be no junk in our bodies, no junk in our homes, and no junk in our relationship. It, relationships. It all translates, I promise. Pay attention to your dreams. Take a drawer. Take 27 items out of your space today. Continue for 27 days, and please let me know the magic that occurs. So in order to win this beautiful tiger's eye, with a Herkimer diamond on it. All you have to do is say something below. Just say something, anything. And um, I am pleased and delighted and excited to do more and share more and, and uh, 
this is what I love to do. And you will find what you love to do. Okay, so that this is the last little bit. All of this cleansing helps us to find what we love to do, and that is the whole point. So, happy days, everybody. Do get your greens on, and do say something pretty below, and I will see you really soon.